Once you have the drivers installed for your ESP32 board, you're ready to set up the Arduino IDE. Now the term IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and simply put, it is a program that allows you to write code and to flash it onto your ESP32 or any other Arduino compatible board. To install the IDE, head over to the Arduino website, which is arduino.cc and under software, click on downloads. Now Arduino has two different IDEs, a web-based one and a native version for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. I'll go for the second option. So we're going to scroll down and underneath download the Arduino IDE, I'm going to pick the download for my platform. Now I'm on Mac OS, so I'm going to download the Mac OS version. If you want, you can donate some money to the Arduino Foundation here, but if you don't, scroll down and click on just download. Now I already have Arduino IDE installed, so I will just skip this step. But once you click download, you can install it like any other program onto your system. Once that is done, we have to install some additional software in the Arduino IDE because by default it only supports official Arduino boards. But luckily this can be extended. To do that, we'll need this, the Arduino core for the ESP32. The link to this page will be in the video description. We're going to scroll down and we're going to head over to installation instructions and we're going to select instructions for boards manager. Now in here, you will find two links, a link to the stable release and a link to the development release. The difference between these two links is how frequently they're updated. The development link will be updated more frequently, but it might contain some bugs. And the stable link will be updated less frequently, but it will be more stable. I'm going to go for the stable link release and I'm going to copy this link. And now we're going to have to paste that into our Arduino IDE. I'm going to open up the Arduino IDE. And I'm going to go to the preferences. And here I'm looking for additional boards manager URLs. And in this field, we're going to paste the link that we just copied from GitHub. Now, if you already have a link there because you have another board that you want to support, then you can add more URLs by separating them with commas. Now, once you're done, click on OK. Next step is to actually install the board in our IDE. To do that, I'm going to go to tools, we're going to go to board, and then we're going to click on boards manager. Now this will refresh its index. And once that's done, we can search for ESP32. And you should find there we go, ESP32 by Espressive Systems. This is the package that we need to install for the Arduino IDE to be able to work together with our ESP32. Click on select version, pick the latest one, and then click on install. Now the Arduino IDE will now download all of the necessary software. And once it's finished, you're ready to start programming your ESP32. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the series if you want to learn more about Arduino and the ESP32.